this is Yoshi Galaxy Center. <laughs> so guys, I'm a bit sick today, so I'm gonna sound a bit weird in my video, but this is um the top 10 Super Mario Galaxies you forgot about. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to be addressing two things. One, I'm going to start not scripting this. This video isn't scripted for a reason. Because, um, A, um, I sound really weird and professional. I can't put any personality into my scripts. B, it takes a lot of time to write them. The other thing I was going to address is I'm going to start making a new style of videos because these random informational videos are boring and cringy AF. So I'm going to be talking about um, top 10. So there's some galaxies we all remember, you know? Like, take um, the Melty Molten Galaxy for one. Yours truly, Rolling Gizmo Galaxy. <laughs> And how could I not talk about galaxies we all remembered without bringing the amazing Beach Bowl Galaxy, my favorite galaxy, and I'm going to show this picture again because it's super cute. It's Rosalie eating ice cream at Beach Bowl Galaxy, and I love Beach Bowl Galaxy, and I love Rosalina, so this is just perfection, okay? Okay. So number 10 is Blue Beast Galaxy, uh, for the reason that it doesn't, it only has two power stars, and this level I just didn't find it too intriguing to look at, this place was pretty average, um, but this level does actually hold a green star, so that's why it's only at number 10, because, because um, everyone remembers the green star. So, at number 9 we have the Burn Queen Galaxy, so there's only one star in this level. Um, it is a boss fight, an underwater boss fight, you don't just know how it but... Um, so this level, you just play a ball off and yeah, and this is the level that's in, instead of a circle with like an entire thing. Like those huge question mark blocks, and a lot of them are gonna be those, just to let you know. But yeah, this one is boring. Taking the number 8 spot is Sweet Sweet Galaxy. This, from here on out, you're gonna start seeing a trend for most of them being Hungry Luma stars. So, this is the first Hungry Luma star, and um, it's like so much back in the game that no one really remembers it. I mean, I did enjoy this level, um, but it just wasn't all that memorable to me. At number 7, Matter Splash Galaxy. So this level is has the main gimmick where like you can only stand on the parts that you can see and you can only see little parts of the level at once. It's a really cool concept, but this was also a variation of this was also a secret star um, in the Ghost of Galaxy. Um, but I absolutely dread playing this level with these two words. Spring Mario. Also I have a 30 second time that I'll add, add not everyone so just let you know. Uh, taking over the number 6 spot on this list, Boo's Boneyard Galaxy. So this level only has one power star, the Hungry Luma star at the gate, and um, all you do is race the Boo. And again, these levels were, uh, a version of these were in Ghostly Galaxy, why can't you put those ones into here? Anyway, I always, I used to be terrible at this level, but I can make this be the first. So at number 5 we have the Snow Capped Galaxy. This is one of those galaxies where you just like chase a bunny and you're timed in this one. This one was like hard like like I said in the last one, I can base maybe any level first though. Um the same cannot be said about this one because it is so hard. I'm not trying to nitpick these levels, but these levels are the ones that I just did not find too memorable because they weren't that fun. Hurry Furry Galaxy takes number 4 on this list, and here's why. Again, one power star, super boring, really fast, and as well, it is also a secret star in a different galaxy, which is really stupid because, like, if you, this was going to be a secret star, then why put it in its own galaxy? Now, don't get me wrong, I like this level, but it's not challenging, it's not fun, whatever. <laughs> And in third place, 
one of the most forgettable galaxies and one of the most memorable Mario games. So, that, this, that is Honey Climb Galaxy. So, first and most obvious reason, one power star. Also, like, you just walk around on a wall as Bean Mario on a honeycomb while avoiding obstacles. Now, this was a creative concept, but you probably forgot about it because it's so lost in the crowd. This one and the next one, we're really debating on which one of them would get the number one spot. But I decided to go with the other one, but we'll get to that later. Then at number two, we have Drift Drop Galaxy. So this one is um, kind of like the Bone Thing Galaxy, which we talked about earlier at number nine, where you run around and just kill enemies in the water. Now this one's a bit different because you're killing multiple enemies, but still, it's very similar and overall not that fun. And the most forgettable Mario Galaxy, at least in my opinion, is the Sand Spiral Galaxy. So, this one you has one gimmick, you just you choose between the bee and the blue mushroom and you fly over to the next section when you get your star. It's a really short level. I used to have a lot of trouble with it, don't really know why. But this one is just kind of random and just isn't all that memorable in my opinion. And here's the Rosalina in a bikini picture for the 500 billionth and 12th time. Anyways, thanks so much for watching my video. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe because I'm trying to grow this channel. Um, and leave a comment in the description below and tell me um, which galaxy that you completely forgot about. Anyways, um, I'll see you later. Bye.